CS2 has been out for some time and it seems like we're not going to be getting a net graph replacement anytime soon. So in this video, we'll show you the best alternatives that we have currently, both in game and out. What was net graph in CSGO? Well, essentially it gave us frame information, network information, packet loss, etc. Really useful things to have in game. And the fact that we could keep it nice and small in the corner was a really good advantage to quickly check exactly what's happening with your network connection and of course your PC frames, etc. This isn't built into CS2, the command just doesn't work, but they have added a few alternatives that are a little bit more annoying to use. But anyways, we'll get into those here. Before we get in game, however, let's get a frame counter set up. As you can see in the extreme top left, I'm getting 60 FPS. This is the Steam overlay that should be built in. Hit shift tab and it'll pop it up. All you need to do is click the settings cogwheel at the very bottom. Then inside of here on the in-game tab, look for in-game FPS counter. Set this to the top left or wherever you'd like it. Then make sure high contrast color is enabled. So it shows in green. Otherwise, it'll be very difficult to read as a gray color. Green is just a lot better. Once you have this set up, you can close this and we can hop into the actual game itself. For more useful information on frames, frame times, frame stability, etc., you could use third party software, but you can use the new command in game CL underscore show FPS space followed by a number. If I look for it, you'll see one draws just FPS, two smooth FPS, three server milliseconds, four show FPS and log to file. With all of this information, we can run CL show FPS one, and you'll see this red bit of text that shows us the map name as well as our current FPS count that changes very rapidly. We can run two instead. And now we see a huge amount of information, mostly to do with frame averages. Our average FPS over the last 60, 140, and 1000 frames, as well as the average frame time and the variability, I would think. Anyways, there's a ton of information here and more than you'd ever need in actual gameplay. If we run this with three instead, everything seems to pause. I'm not too sure what's going on here, but anyways, number four simply logs to file and shows us this here. We see frame server being zero, our frame milliseconds, average FPS, and that's pretty much it. This shows a little bit more information than just number one that shows us purely FPS and it's in a different color. Anyways, this is the best that we have. Personally, this is just far too big and there's no way to shrink it down. One, if anything, is what I'd use, but instead of this, completely disable it and rely on the Steam FPS counter in the extreme top left or wherever you put it. Then we have CQ underscore net graph. This is a new command and it displays the command Q statistics on the HUD. This is very confusing. Default of zero to turn it off. Let's set CQ underscore net graph to one and you can see in the extreme top right, this weird graph that moves across to the side with different layers of blocks, different colors, etc. This is all very confusing and the community really has no solid information on exactly what it means. This isn't to do with your ping or at least not necessarily. It's to do with networking just in general. Each of these little blocks flying across is some kind of command being sent from your PC to the server or something like that. Essentially, the more blocks that they are vertically, the more information is being sent at once. And if if you see any red blocks underneath the usual green line here, which we'll see once in a while, those are dropped packets or dropped bits of information being sent to the server as far as the community understands. In other words, green is good, red is bad. That's pretty much all the information that we have on it. It's super, super limited. And of course, Valve haven't done a great job of explaining exactly what it does or what it means. But you can safely assume that if you see a bunch of red, your internet connection is probably not the most stable and you're going to need to check into fixing whatever could be causing packet loss, etc. This could be anything from an overloaded network to a bad Wi-Fi connection. But of course, more testing needs to be done by the community and and hopefully more official information from Valve. Personally, I would much prefer the old net graph comes back, but this is the best that we have for now. Having this little green line in the top right corner and an FPS counter in the top left isn't the best, but it's the best we have. You can put them together using the settings and moving it to the top right, for example, and they're sort of stacked together as they were before. No way to shrink them or change them around though. Then how exactly do we find out more information about our ping? Obviously you can hit tab and see what kind of ping you have have here, but you can also hit shift tab to bring up the steam overlay once more and you'll get some information about the server as well as its location, your ping, and I assume packet loss in this number with a percentage next to it. Obviously not the best as you need to shift tab while playing the game, which is definitely going to stop you dead 
your tracks just to see what kind of internet connection you have. Very, very annoying to say the least, but this is the best we have. And personally, this is what I'll be running, if anything. Otherwise, I'll completely turn off the new Netcraft, as it's really difficult to understand. It's not the best, but at least now you know how to check your FPS as well as averages if you're trying to benchmark different settings to find out what works best on your PC. And on top of this, you have hopefully a deeper understanding of what the new Netcraft is, although everything is purely just speculation. Anyways, that's about it for this quick video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.